Discipline is a superpower. As you may have seen, we up sticks from London and moved to Ibiza over the weekend. Now, we're grateful and glad to be here, but one lesson is how much moving to a new place throws your routine out. Which is why, after only a couple of days settling in and finding our way around, we doubled down on discipline. And we're making sure our routines and behaviours are aligned with our goals. So in this episode, we share why discipline matters and how you can start cultivating it so you can create the success you deserve. Hi, I'm James Davis. And I'm Claire Davis. We're the Midlife Mentors, here to lift the lid on how to achieve health and happiness. The balanced, no-nonsense way. Welcome to another episode of the Midlife Mentors with me, James. And me, Claire. We did launch one last week, didn't we? I was just thinking, we, we did we have did. one. We just missed them ever so, ever so infrequently. I think we put one out last week, but I, I can't it's been I'm such a long week. Sure. Yes, we are coming to you <laughs> live from our new Ibiza home for the winter. That's why it feels like, I'm not sure I put one out last week, but I did. Uh, it's just been a long, long week. Yes, well, this time last week, it was only a week ago, we were uh, taking... A bus. Four trains, no, a, bus. a mini bus. Yeah, a bus, four trains, and a flight. Yeah. Got, and Paris was interesting. I've got to tell you, the Paris Metro on a Saturday <laughs> night with two 30 kilo suitcases and a dog was interesting. And and other and, and other hand luggage as well. But it we was, made it. We're here in Ibiza in this was, gorgeous place up in Dolt Villa, the old oh medieval wall city. Um, it's, it's just fantastic. If you've not been to Ibiza, um, why not? But no, honestly, we used to obviously live here. We lived here until COVID, actually, and then we left, and then we'd spend winters in Marbella. But this opportunity came up for this amazing house in Dalt Villa in Ibiza, and it's a place that James, it's really close to James and my heart, because we used to always come here, we've always loved it when we lived mm-hmm. here in another part of the island, but we always used to come and visit Ibiza town and loved Dalt Villa, so when this came up, we jumped on it. And it's beautiful sunny weather, not to make anyone jealous that hasn't got at this right it's now. It's gorgeous, so we, we are getting up and we are going to like the deserted medieval battlements there's like a big flat area and we're doing our, our hit up there if you, if you follow us on social media you might have seen some pictures of yeah. uh, claire and i and lola um lola's absolutely loving it here as she well. loves so, it she loves happy it days. but yeah so we're kind of finally settling and that is what has um inspired this podcast today which is around discipline mm. and we're going to touch on a bit of routine as well but why discipline is a superpower yes, why discipline is a superpower but before we go into that we since we've got here as anyone that knows us well we're always full on we're always creating we're always trying to create the most amazing experiences for our clients but also for for new people in our world and we have just literally launched a 21 day program that's going to see us throughout december and it's called Vision and Vitality. And we are so excited about it. We've already got a ton of you already signed up to this. And I have to say, just it's going to be a powerful mentorship container anyway. But the fact that we've got the most beautiful people signed up for it, some we know, some are new to our world, and the community you are going to be in is just, it's very, very, very special is all I can say. But what we're going to be doing on that 21-day program is making sure that throughout December, as we all can can do, probably most of us do do, we all go a bit off-piste, don't mm, we? The holiday season. Yeah, we go a bit off-piste. Our American listeners have already had Thanksgiving. Yes, and then it rolls Happy in. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, and then it rolls into December. So you've got an even longer festivity yeah. period than us. Um, but what we really wanted to do, we wanted to create something that helps people start 2020, 2023 in the most positive way powerful confident and in control way that we can and we wanted to support people do that throughout december because this is where it goes horribly wrong we let um unhealthy habits come in we go off piste um we end up in january feeling sluggish 
um, on the back foot, a bit lost, a bit like, oh my goodness, how did the new year start around? Again, here I am again, without any purpose and any passion for what I want to be, do and have in 2023. So this 21-day program is very, very much about giving you the tools and the, actually the processes. So we're going to take you through the processes that are going to help you discover what's holding you back, where your life is right now, what's holding you back, what you're happy with, what you're not, what's holding you back, um, and, and working out ways to obviously reprogram the mind to help you start to understand what you want out of the next year, next year that's coming. And we're going to give you the absolute roadmap to make sure that you all start on the front foot in 2023. Yeah, this is going to be so, so awesome. We're going to be digging deep into our toolkit of you know, psychology, NLP, um, all kinds of things. I mean, yes, you're going to keep on track, um, keep healthy, um, maybe even lose some, some body fat over, over the yeah, holiday absolutely. period. Yeah, you know, absolutely. But that's a byproduct, right? That's a byproduct. What we're focusing on here is like the mental tools and mental changes that are going to give you the success that you've been looking for for so long. It's going to actually help you deliver it with a clear vision and a roadmap for how to get there yeah. in 2023. And here's so it's the gonna thing, be amazing. You're gonna, accountability is always the reason we, we fall off track. It's always the reason we fail, right? Um, and that's why, even for us, for December, it's gonna help us keep on track, mm. you know? It's gonna give us a focus, it's gonna help give us discipline. And that's why we're talking about this as well today. This 21 day program will help you give, like embed the discipline that you need that so that you yeah that you start off completely fresh in January, feeling excited about the future rather than sluggish and out of control. Exactly. Now, word of warning: if you listen to this live, you need to jump in fast because yes, two things I here. Yes, I forgot that. Places are limited on this, and we are filling up really My fast. My goodness, we really are. Um, secondly, the enrolment deadline is this Monday coming, which is Monday the twenty eighth. Yeah. In the evening, UK time. So um, yeah, don't delay. Right. Right. Let's talk. Let's talk about discipline. Yes. Why it's a superpower. Well, this has come about from doing the 21-day program and getting out there and helping you, um, giving you some tools to, to keep disciplined. But we've massively, massively felt the impact of being out of routine mm. in the last week and how that's, for me particularly, I have to say, because I wasn't very well just before we left, I, I felt really poorly. I got very unwell very quickly. Um, and then I was travelling, feeling unwell. And then I got here and I wasn't feeling unwell, but uh, feeling well. And then we we're out of routine and out of discipline here, and that really negatively impacted my mood and yeah. my yeah my positivity. It's really interesting. You see, routine and discipline really complement each other. They're, they're two sides of the same coin. And obviously, with moving, that's a lot of upheaval. You are out of your normal routine. You can still be disciplined about what you do, but you're out of your routine. And kind of we arrive, and you just breathe a sigh of relief. Um, and then as you know, you're in a new place, you're finding your way around, you know, sorting stuff out that you need for the house, your shopping, etc. Um, you realize that actually like your routine slipped and then your discipline starts to slip with that yeah. a little bit as well. So there's a real wake up for us. And, and literally, I mean, if you make it sound dramatic, it was only like a couple of days. Like I think Wednesday, we're like, right, let's, mm. let's back onto it. Let's, mm. like, let's establish what our new routine is. So just to rewind a little bit, coming from, from our London life, we, we've set a routine there. So our life is programmed in a way that supports what we want to achieve from our life and supports the goals we want to achieve in our life. So we actually sat down and designed our life in that way. And of course, feeding to that is the discipline to, make to it actually happen. Go, to make it happen and stick to those routines. And that is being it's like just so, so super effective for us and super effective to, you know, to clients that we work with on this as well. Which is why, you know, it was, it was a really valuable lesson to abandon it. And it was... It's quite a scary insight. I do see how it can become tempting just to like, you know, let another day drift, let another day drift. But the thing is, here's a wake-up call. Every day you let a day drift, you're getting further from your goal. And I liken it to, you know, being, being in a car. Do you want to be the passenger, just like seeing where the car takes you? Or do you want to be the driver deciding what the route is mm. and being in control? And I think we all want to be in control. So establishing that discipline, we start with really simple things. We're like, okay, we'll set the alarm for this time. We'll do our morning routine, our little gratitude practice. We'll, we'll get to the gym, we'll go and check out the different gyms, we'll join one, we'll get in there and work out. And yeah, trust me, within two days of doing that, Fine. like our, our energy shifted to a completely different place and we're back aligned with our goals and we were putting together all the work that we need to do for this 21-day yeah. yeah, program. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think that's a really good, a really valid point because 
Discipline, again, it's like anything, like motivation, like confidence, it's something that needs to be cultivated over time. And it's something that can slip, like James said, really, really easily. But don't, don't, don't just think, oh, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to feel disciplined. Same with motivation, I'm going to feel motivated. Mm. You need to cultivate discipline. And it's very, very easy, like James has said, it surprises me. It surprises me every single time how quickly, when you're not cultivating a certain trait, how quickly it can just like fly by the wayside. So even with people like us who are particularly disciplined with their, with their training, with their life actually, like Jane said, we've created a life for ourselves in London that is very disciplined. We've got certain work hours. Um, we have certain ways that we structure our days with regards to, with regards to our work. And discipline is something that you cultivate over time, but can be lost very, very quickly. And it is a superpower, because once you cultivate it in one area of your life, you can cultivate it in other areas of your life. So, for example, we see it all the time when people start to display discipline with regards to their food and with their workouts. They then start to display discipline with um, their work environment, with their work ethic, Actually, with um, other areas of their life, for example, their, their children and how they structure their children's lives, there is, there is discipline that starts to um, flow into all other areas of your life once you've got one nailed. You start to think, okay, what else is possible? What else? If I can achieve this with a bit of discipline, what else can I achieve in other areas of my life with more discipline as well? Exactly that. And the thing is, um, here, the thing we hear a lot is people are like, you know, oh, I need the motivation, I need to be motivated. But here's the thing about motivation, right? It comes and goes. It wanes. We know from research that, you know, we have more in the morning than we have in the evening. The the thing that is going to keep you going when motivation is running out or running low is discipline. Absolutely. That's about not feeling like it, but getting up and doing it anyway. And that's why it genuinely is a superpower. Mm. Uh, And why we felt so so strongly, like having experienced ourselves, to share this with you. Yeah. And I think some of the things I say to myself often is, you know... um, Okay, I'm doing the things that I don't want to do because I want to get the result. That's the thing, you know. That is that's a disciplined mindset. I'm doing. There are plenty of things that I don't like to do um, in life, in the business, in in all areas. There are plenty of things that I do not like to do, but I'm like I'm doing it, and I'm doing it now because I want the result. Because I know success is achieved that way. Mm. I'm doing it. I'm doing it now because I know my success is assured when I do it this way. Exactly. Listen, a discipline is like a, is, is a habit, but you have to cultivate it. And the more you practice it, the easier it's going to become. And like Claire said, it spills over. So you might just start in one area, right? You might just start with like, okay, I'm committing to my workouts. Then you'll find that discipline spills over to other areas. It does spread throughout your life. And it gives you control of your life, right? Um, look, it can be fun to live without direction in the short term, yeah. of course. But, but you start to feel uneasy. Look, it's long term... We need a purpose and a direction. Look at your life now, right? If you're, if you're not where you want it to be, it's because you haven't set your goals and actioned them. And here's the thing where you're probably falling down. It's that discipline you need to take that action over and over again. Consistent action to get to your goals. That is where the discipline comes in to get you the success you're looking for. Yeah, and also be really careful about the story you're telling yourself here as well. How many times we say, oh, I'm not a disciplined person. I'm not disciplined in that. I'm not disciplined in that. Well, you're not going to be if you keep telling yourself the story of not being disciplined. So start telling us, actually ask yourself, what would a disciplined person do here? Mm. That's one of the things like, what would a disciplined person, if someone was disciplined in this area, what would they do next? Stick that on a little sticky note around your house stick it on your laptop what would a disciplined person do next Mm. i think that's a really really powerful question and like like we always say our life can i i personally think that whole ethos of oh just live in flow and and i do say this to a degree oh just let's live in flow go with the flow blah 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 that's fine however that's not how successful people smash their goals and become what they want to become they don't become people by going with the flow they make their life happen for them and they do that Mm. through discipline 
Yeah, I just that would be really clear on this. This isn't about like making your life really rigid, right? And having no. rules for everything or, or having like a routine and discipline that you live by. You can still be spontaneous. This is about making conscious We're choices, spontaneous. right? We are. <laughs> it's about, you know, you're you're sitting in a restaurant and you're like, Oh, shall I have like a big pile of cheesy nachos? But you had them already two nights running. It's about going, No, you know what, now I won't. But it's like if it's once in a while, it doesn't matter. It's about looking at that end result and making a call for yourself, right? On do I want to apply my discipline now to move me forward towards mm. my goal or am I just going to enjoy this moment? But no, that's probably keeping me still or taking me away from my goal. Yeah, because also we can all play the victim, right? We can all go, oh, oh, I, you know, I don't feel the way I want to feel. I don't look the way I want to look. Um, my life's a little bit... Well, we can all play that victim. But I tell you what, if you get some discipline in your life, that actually starts taking that victim, victim mentality out of it because you are the conscious creator of your life. You are responsible for it. And if there's something you don't have, it's because you haven't got, you haven't had the discipline to go out there and get it. And I know I'm making it sound like, you know, that's easier said than done. Of course it is. Like I've said so many times, I've even seen it, I'll keep hammering this home, even seen it with myself this week. It is so easy to let discipline go. And then the result of that is, is chaotic, actually, quite chaotic. So we need some order in our life to make us feel in control and comfortable and safe. But if there's something that you want and you haven't got yet, I promise you, discipline is a trait that you need to start cultivating day in, day out in order to get to that goal. Okay, so let's look at how you could do that, right? So I start small at the moment. So there's, you know, that, that meme that goes around on, on social media that's like, you know, uh, how, whether, whether you make your bed or not, came from, a, a, I think, an admiral talking yes, about Navy SEALs. It's like how you do your whole life. Now, listen, how, if you make your bed in the morning. Yeah, that's not necessarily true, right? But his point was, like, that is a discipline. That is like, I get up and I start my day in the same way every day and I make my bed. That's about instilling a discipline and a behavior. So start with the small things. Find make one area <laughs> you know you can succeed at. Because remember, your subconscious will be trying to tell you that you can't do it. So don't go for something massive. Don't go, oh, I'm going to get up and go for a 10-mile run every day if you currently do no exercise, right? Start with a small thing and just build that habit over time. When you feel ready that you've got that nailed, keep up on that one, but introduce another one. The other thing I would say is you've got two forms of discipline. You've got external, which is where someone else is telling you that you have to do something, which is one, the one we're probably most used to, right? It's like when you're in a job, you need to do this, you need to do that. Like you and telling me to do stuff in the business. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, you get punished if you don't. <laughs> So, uh, I don't need to know that. <laughs> uh, and then there's internal discipline, which comes from within. Now, if you're, if you're struggling with self-discipline, it can sometimes help to have that external point. So this is about getting someone you're accountable to, mm. like a coach or a mentor. Because then you feel with accountability, like, oh, you know, they're saying I should be doing this. I actually need to do it so that I'm not letting them down as well as letting myself down. So if you need support, you know, get that support as well. I cannot tell you how many times we hear that from all of our clients. It is, it's, it's the game changer. It's like we have them say to us all the time, I don't want to let you down, Claire and James. And not that they would. We're not there like with wits going, come on, you must do this. But that they've, they've made an investment in time, energy and money. But they've also made an investment in our partnership. And psychologically, we don't like to let other people down. We are people pleasers, right? So again, like James is saying, get that, account, that level of accountability to start helping you embed discipline. And just saying, this is what we're going to do with you in the 21-day program, Vision and Vitality. <laughs> exactly that. Um, I'd say that my third tip, like um, discipline, of course, you, you can have discipline without having a goal, but it massively helps if you have a goal. So have a think about what you really want to achieve from your life in the next like, 3, 6, 12 months. And be really firm on that goal and revisit that goal all the time. And model the behaviours you need that, which is including the discipline you need that. And that will give you um, the motivation to keep going. So when those days when you're like, I don't want to do this, you apply that discipline then to go, right, I do want to keep moving forward towards my goal. I know the end result is more important. I'm willing to... Here's the thing about successful people. They're willing to experience the pain now to have the pleasure at some point in the future. Yeah. It's not saying you have to um, totally live a life of that pleasure now, but they're willing to make the sacrifice now yes. to get the gain down the line. It's big picture thinking. So we want to shift to big picture thinking and really see the benefit of how our discipline is moving us there. Well, yeah, because we're in a society that doesn't, it doesn't cultivate discipline, does it? It's like, I, I, I want it now, I want it now. We're in mm. a quick fix society. I need it now, I want it now. Um, and actually discipline has, has become... Uh, um, a trait that we we don't really honour and respect but successful people in anything they do have this trait 
And I know, and I have to say, I've got a little sticky on on my laptop that for areas of my life that I want to become more disciplined in, I've got that little sticky of what would X person do if they were more disciplined? And what would I do if I was more disciplined right now with this? And then the subconscious mind loves questions. It absolutely loves it when you pose questions. So I'm going to pose that question to you right now. What, what, if you applied discipline to that goal that you want, unwavering discipline, what could you achieve? Mm, that's a nice way to wrap up. Um, I hope you found that useful. Um, if you do want to jump on the 21-day course... Oh, my goodness. Um, there'll be show, in the show notes how you can jump on that um, right now. Yes. Um, and also, do you know what? If you're on social media channels, um, and just pop us a message on social media channels. You know, you can either go to the Midlife Mentors um, Facebook page and message us there. You can look us up, Claire Davis and James Davis. You'll find us um, on Facebook. You can message us personally there. That's cool. Um, or just ping us an email. If you can't, you can't find the links and stuff, just email us at team at the midlifementors.com. If you want to get in on that 21-day program, doors are closing end of Monday, and we're near, like we are getting full up very, very quickly, and we want to keep it small. Places are limited because this is a very, very intimate powerful mentoring container where we get to know you we get to know what you want and we help you get there so we are going to be closing those doors um potentially even sooner than monday if we reach those targets so getting quick sending you thank you lots of love lots of till love. next time big hugs bye You've been listening to the Midlife Mentors with Claire and James Davis. We'd love to hear from you. So drop us a line at info at themidlifementors.com with any questions or topic suggestions. And make sure you join us on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. You can find us under The Midlife Mentors. Yeah.